it's time for your angel guidance, beautiful soul. And this time, we're going to have the guidance for the week of the 16th through the 22nd of April 2018. So as always, keep watching because our angels have wonderful messages coming up for us. Hello beautiful soul, welcome to my channel, my name is Maria, it's a pleasure to have you here with me. If this is your first time here, I invite you to go to the subscribe button below, so you will always get notifications whenever I post a new angel guidance or a new meditation here in my channel. And this time we're going to be using the Angel Therapy Oracle Cards. This is by Doreen Virtue, it's a very soothing deck, wonderful messages. 44 cards in this deck. So as always, if it's your first time watching my guidance, I ask you to close your eyes just for a few seconds while we connect with our angels, asking them to surround us right now, Monday and Tuesday, <laughs> surround us right now with light, with love, and give us the right card, choose the right message, and speak through me to give you the right message the right guidance that you need for this week of the 16th through the 22nd of april so as always i will keep shuffling until they ask me to stop or until a card actually pops out actually it's already here i have one one card for wednesday and thursday and now for the weekend continuing to shuffle continuing to bring their lights to the cards asking them for the message and it's already here for the weekend so let's see my dear beautiful soul let's see as always what they have to say for this week we're gonna start the week with the past life issue so the message says the situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes ask your angels to help you remember release learn and heal from your past experiences. So what the angels are telling you is that we need to be aware that sometimes some behaviors that we have, some things that happen to us, they're very related to past lives. That's why we don't understand why. That's why we sometimes have no idea why we react this way, why we have sometimes even phobias, why we have sometimes traumas that we have no idea where they're coming from. So what they're asking you is to actually do some kind of past life review so you can understand what's happening, you can understand the situation, you can understand even the people around you and why they, they also react in some way that you can't understand. So they are telling you to actually do some meditation, ask and invite your angels to bring you this awareness, to show you especially, they're telling me now to tell you, especially through your dreams, is a very easy way for you to access this information. So make a quick, do a quick uh, prayer, a quick meditation before you go to bed before you go to sleep and ask your angels to enlighten you during your sleep with this past life wherever the issue was created so you can heal so you can release so you can clear this energy that actually does not belong to you that actually is not meant to be there it is meant to be healed it is meant to be released so remember, my dear, that sometimes we have to open our minds and understand that things can be from some other lives. It can be the, the root of the problem or the root of the actions and the behaviors and the situations. They can be from a, a previous life, a past life issue that was not resolved and you're still carrying this energy with you which means you need to deal with it which means you need to heal it you need to be aware of it clear it release it work 
to take this and just let go of these feelings, let go of this energy. So they're asking you to begin your week thinking about this, thinking about things and situations in your life right now that need to have a reveal and ask your angels to show you what is the connection with these things, with these situations? Where are they coming from? Where were they created in your life? It can even be from childhood in this life, but you're just not aware of it. So ask your angels to come forward and bring you this awareness. Go into meditation also. Breathe, invite your angels. Ask them to protect you and to guide you and bring you to the root of these situations, to the root of these problems or these feelings. And then you ask them again, you ask them to release it, you ask them to clear it, and you ask them to heal it. You have to give them the permission to do it for you. So remember, my dear, to begin your week by thinking a little bit more open-minded and understanding that sometimes situations, relationships, they all come from before, from much, much earlier than you actually think. And by, by understanding what's happening better in a deeper way, then you can really heal it, then you can really get over it, then you can really let go of these attachments. So remember to do some kind of past life um, work in the beginning of your week so you can understand the situations. Okay, my dear. So now let's check for Wednesday and Thursday. Wonderful. <laughs> Just in connection with the same message. Now we got the crown chakra card and the message says by attention, uh, pay attention to your ideas as there are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. So talking about past life reviews and things like this, you need to also connect with the divine, with the source energy. This way you will be inviting light towards you and you'll be protected. You will have your angels with you in connection through your crown and then they can bring you where you need to go. They can bring you the understanding without judgment. They can bring you this connection with your higher self. Even with your Akashic records, they're telling me now, if you need to do some kind of Akashic records access so you can understand the situations. By doing that, actually to do that, you need to have a very strong connection with the divine energy through the crown of your head, through your crown chakra, by opening it and just creating this um, connection of light between you and the divine and the universe and source energy. Because then you open up your space, you open up to divine energy, and then you can be brought to these feelings, to these energies, to the past. You can go wherever you actually want. You can travel where you want when your crown and your third eye are open. So they're asking you if you feel that it's not working, whatever you're doing to access your past lives. Do some kind of meditation also towards opening and working and healing the crown chakra and also the third eye. They're both very important for any kind of spiritual work, any kind of travel, astral travel or anything like this. You really need them strong. You really need them open and connected with divine energy, with light, for your own protection, for your own understanding as well. Because maybe if this is actually not properly connected, if you are not properly connected energetically to source, you might get the information, but you won't understand it. You won't see the connection between whatever happened to what is happening to you right now. So you need to have this divine connection with your angels, with the divine, with God, with source energy. You have to have this connection because it is through your crown that you will process the information, that you will understand the information, you will understand the situation. 
okay my dear so work very strongly on your spiritual side this week by opening to the divine energy and opening to source energy so you can have access to yourself to your higher self that has all this information holds everything there call also he's telling me right now call upon Archangel Metatron he can help you very greatly to access this information he can bring you understanding towards this towards a past life towards uh, any situation that happened to you before because he holds the Akashic record so he can bring you there and he can show you so you have I'm giving you two ways of accessing this through meditation and through your sleep so remember this week to do this kind of work because it's going to be very positive for you to even understand yourself better okay my dear and finally now for the weekend beautiful just what we're talking about release the message is work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose so what they want you to do my dear is you've been carrying things from past lives with you situations things that need to be healed and when you access this you need to ask your angels to clear it to release it just understanding just looking at the situation won't help you need to release this you need to let go so you can serve your higher self you can serve your purpose you can serve your divine connection and the great a great helper for releasing and clearing this is archangel michael he can help you to do this wonderfully clearing and, and releasing your energy he's telling me now to actually tell you that if you cannot access your past life through meditation through uh, your dreams or any any other way if this is not possible for you if you're trying this is not working he's actually he actually wants you to communicate with him to invite him to come forward show you what needs to be healed still if you can still not see it, if your crown is not connected enough, if your third eye is not open enough, but you know there is something that needs to be released and cleared, ask Archangel Michael, tell him, I don't know what it is, I don't know when this happened, in which life this happened, in which way this was created, but I ask you, Archangel Michael, to please go to this situation go to these attachments clear it release it remove it from my energy remove it from my path so i can move forwards towards my light and towards my ascension so you have many ways of releasing these attachments with the past my dear you can access it yourself see it be aware of it or you can even ask your dear Archangel Michael to simply go there and clear it for you even if you're even if you can see it even if you're not aware of it just ask him Archangel Michael I'm feeling this way and I know this is not this, there is something that is not meant to be here there is something I'm feeling that it is connected with my past so I ask you to please go to the root of this problem and clear it Okay, my dear, work strongly with Archangel Michael and Metatron this week because they can help you greatly to have access to past issues, clearing them, releasing them and healing your heart. This is the only way you'll be opening up your consciousness. You will be ascending to your higher self. You'll be ascending your energy and connecting with the divine stronger learning and returning to who you truly are and this was your angel guidance my dear beautiful soul for the week of the 16th through the 22nd of april 2018 i want to thank you for being here with me for opening your hearts to receive your angels for opening your life to have them with you for allowing them to work by your side 
comment please comment below how was this guidance for you if it touched your heart if it made sense to you if you're feeling that there is something stronger connected from longer than what you think let me know in the comments below how you've been working with your angels and how they have been helping you lately i want to thank you once again for being here i'll see you very soon again continue to watch continue to stay connected you can always go to my instagram facebook twitter i have daily guidance there and i can't wait i always look forward to connect with you i wish you a wonderful and a pleasant week always in the company of your angels stay safe take very good care of yourself be happy namaste